Hello, good evening, Twin Lions here. We are back at the long drive tonight. Howdy Paige, howdy the one. I have a kitty. When was the last long drive? Um, last week? Ah, Paige, cheered a hundred pointy things. Thank you, Paige. What's with the uh, the smiley ban hammer? <laughs> How's everyone doing? Fair enough. It it's it's a very smiley bop. <laughs> you you did get you a job. Congrats, Paige. I've I've been seeing your. Updates of working evenings. <laughs> Thank you again, Paige. Thank you again. Howdy, Sparkle. We have a kitty. He's being demanding. But yeah, we did we did the long drive last week ish. Um, I gave up on my previous run because I wasn't enjoying it. Um, so I'm limiting myself a little bit here. And what we're having a little bit more fun with it. 11 hours, 4 nights in a row was rough. I bet. I used to do 4 10 hour shifts regularly. Um, but that's that's kind of like right on the right on the edge of how much I'd be wanting to work. All right, so let's find my last save. Probably, probably that one. Yeah, three eleven. That's when we last did it. And then before that, it was back in January. So we'll we'll play this a while. We'll play this a while, and then uh, whenever whenever I'm done playing it, we will. Uh, switch over probably to my garage. I've been playing that a little bit lately and I enjoy it. Okay, where where was I at? Uh sure the one go for it. Full oil, full coolant. Uh, as much gas as I probably could manage. I think we're I think we're done with this location. Pretty sure. Um, and judging by the things that are violently shaking inside, I don't want to go in there. So we're not gonna. Uh, let's make sure I got my food. Yep, we got food. Right, so, drinks are... Ah, right. Drinks are a problem. I'm, I'm very low on water. I might need to start drinking my radiator soon here. Uh, let's see, do I have any water in here? I do! Never mind. Nope. I did look down the well. Uh, in fact, last stream last week, I spent a good ten minutes trying to get out of the well after I found the broom. Um, I, I also have heard that it's random, but I'm not positive on that. All right, we got we got diesel. We got blood. So in case I start needing healing, we've got blood available. I have a full thing of oil. I have plenty of bacon. In fact, we're going to eat one of those, because we're good. And then we're going to take a little bit of a restroom break before we go. Always, always make sure you go to the bathroom before you leave. I did eventually get out, and I eventually figured out how to fly the damn thing. It's a lot more of a, obnoxious than I thought it would be. There we go. That was a, a rather messy evacuation, but we're ready for the road. We're clean and fresh and ready to go. We have our our um, undead sausage dangles over here. Oh, don't kick! Don't kick the car. All right, are we ready? Oh, another thing I want to try is to see if I can figure out how to drive this thing more effectively. Uh. Okay, there we go. 
because um, the big problem is that it's very floaty. I, I don't know if that's me or if that's the game, but like I do the gentlest turn one direction or the other, and the car starts sliding or spinning or rotating or whatever. Uh, what was the button for camera view? There we go. And we are we are on the road again. Yeah, this this floatiness is what's killing me. We're gonna we're gonna keep trying. We're gonna keep trying to deal with it. Uh, I have my side lights on the top. I have my cone hat. All right. So what exactly is causing that? Oh, hi, rabbits. I was gonna stop, but you decided to appear. Okay, now we're going to stop, and I'm going to take a look at my settings, see if we can figure out what might be causing this. It might just be the game. might not be able to do anything about it. Okay, we'll give it a pause. We'll give it a... You have production things to focus on. That was... Suspicious. But have fun, Sparkle. The state of my tires is flawless. Uh, I took a lot of time to, to shine those things up. Uh, it's entirely possible that it's just the game. But let me double check. So, is it my steering wheel? Maybe. Turn down the sensitivity a little bit. Maybe that'll help. We'll see. Yeah, the tires. Shiny as can be. I think it just is what it is. Um, so uh, the only reason my tires are not currently shiny is um, I just swapped out for the white walls. So I've got perfectly fine tires most of the places. I think there's one tire that's not perfect. But before I swapped out for white walls, I had four perfectly good tires. This is the only crappy one that I've got right now. I had four perfect crisp shiny tires and it was just as bad. So, it's not necessarily the tires. I think it's something to do with my steering wheel, or the way that the steering wheel is interacting with the game, but I'm not positive. It could be that the game is just floaty. Like that, right there. The slightest curve, and suddenly everything starts to spin or float sideways. I, I think I just need to go slower for now. Because if I don't use the wheel, if I use the keyboard, that the changes are too sharp. Screw that cactus, we're going backwards. Driving in reverse is perfectly fine. I mean, granted I can't get over 70. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty much stuck at 69, but it doesn't it doesn't go all floaty on me. Yeah, like this, perfectly fine. There's no floatiness to it. It doesn't start veering off a direction one way or the other. So I don't I don't know what's up with that. Yep, backwards is perfect. It's got the best numbers and everything. 
70 is not a problem. It sounds kind of rough. So I think this might just be the car. Because I, I know that going forward I can get up to about 120. Um, but anything above 80 to 100, something like that, was really unfortunate. So let, let's try sticking at a reasonable number. We'll, we'll stick at... It's really hard to stay at a low number. Uh, Scooby, we're, we're going for a long drive. That's what that's what's happening here. There may or may not be a half-rotted arm holding on to my precious food source on the side, and I may or may not be wearing a traffic cone on my head. These things may or may not be happening. Don't worry too much about it. Very little experience going that fast because of your style. Is your style to drive a bus and barely be able to make it up a hill? My goal is the truck. I want to be able to drive the truck and have one of the big trailers in the back, if not more than one, because I think you can daisy chain them. Um, but also, yeah, that, that's what's on that side. That's my uh, my hand holding on to my sausages. faster without me dying, please. Thank you. Oh, also that green thing sticking out the back, that's one of the baskets that I have attached to the underside of my window uh, so that when it flips up, everything stays in upside down. Because that's the way that things should be. So originally when I played this game, I knew nothing. Um, so I was, I was kind of upset about a couple spoilers that were given by a couple people who'd stopped by. But now, I have, as far as I'm aware, I have experienced almost everything there is to experience in the game. So I'm not worried about spoilers, so we can, we can speak freely of all of the things that are happening in the game. And what plans there may or may not be. My current goal with this run is to stay on the road only, because my first run, part of my problem was that I would just see something off in the distance and just go drive to it, and then I would lose sight of the road and I would have no guidance or goal or orientation for which way was the right, the right direction or anything like that. So um, the correct direction is the power poles are on the right, that's forward, and we're going to keep doing that, and then I'm never going to go pick up anything on the side of the road that isn't within visible distance of the road, because I don't want to lose it. Howdy drums, how you doing? If you stick around long enough, we might be switching over to my garage at some point tonight, whenever we get sick of driving forward. Oh, nope, nope, no veering. Veering's bad. Don't do it. Look at that lovely sunset. It's pretty. Oh, hey, there's a building. We're going to stop here. And there's a something on the side of the road on the left I just saw. We're going to go visit that first because I will forget otherwise. It's really shiny, whatever it is. It's really, really shiny. Oh, 
Right. Turned off my HUD so I can take screenshots. We're also gonna sleep. Double bus plus tank and trailer. Oh, good lord. Um, a short answer about the compass is that it only works if you have it laying flat. It doesn't work upright because, you know, compassy things. And beyond that, I couldn't tell you which direction your road may or may not be because I don't know the, di the directions or orientations of everything. So no, no freaking clue. Um, I couldn't help you get back to the road if, if you wanted it. Alright, we're gonna... Eh, we're not gonna be here too long. Uh, so we have a lady. I'm not gonna bother bringing the lady around, because whatever. We have, we have gold. I don't think I see anything else. Just a random outhouse with poop in it. Alright, fair enough. Nope, wrong, 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 wrong. Everything, everything that just happened was wrong. Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. How do I... How do I... How do I... Good enough. I have no idea how to change my gears. <laughs> I have no idea how to go to reverse. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh, hi, Demos. I, I, I just remembered I know how to go in reverse and I totally forgot that I do know how to go in reverse. Take care of the rabbit problem. Oh, Jesus. I didn't know she exploded. Good thing she didn't explode violently or I'd be having problems right now. What is that? What are you? Ah, uh, fly water. I don't... Don't know exactly what to do with this, but... It's a fly swatter. You can swat flies, but there's no flies to swat. So I don't actually know what its purpose is. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put the fridge here. We got chocolate. This is good. One pointing backwards, so we'll we'll take it. Oh, there's an actual window there. Okay, fine. There. Mm. there we go. There we go. Uh, 
the door. Ah, there's practically nothing in his in this place. Okay, that's fine. We need a little water. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> I uh, overwatered myself. Here, let's uh, hang up on the roof for a second. Got another basket. Another basket. Another oil. There's no gas here. Well, that's unfortunate. When did I get roof baskets? I got roof baskets last time, so about a week ago. Debating on another roof basket. Do I need another roof basket? Do you ever not need another roof basket? Just, just slap them on any old surface. It'll be fine. And away we go. I'm, I'm a little bit low on food, but it'll be fine. We'll, we'll make it to the next area. I'm more concerned about that lack of gas. Because um, they did increase gas... Uh, usage and did not increase gas availability so I did tell myself I wasn't gonna go uh, running off to every ship that was available because ships have just stupid amounts of liquids but if there is one on the side of the road I'm probably gonna stop and see if I can fill up what you can't attach baskets to the double boss what Oh, no, no, no. The, the veering, the veering. It's just, it's fine, we're going backwards again. They don't stay in the back section, interesting. I guess the back section probably counts as like a trailer or something. Can you attach buses, or can you, can you attach buses? Can you attach the baskets to trailers? Because that might answer that problem. I can't J-turn. I haven't figured out. I can I can do a reverse J-turn. I just can't do a forward J-turn. It's probably not more fuel efficient. It probably is not, uh, but I can't. Uh, I can't get this thing to stop swerving and then turning around and going ass first. Like it just, it just wants to go ass first. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, there is a lookout tower up ahead. So I think I will check that. Alright, we're going house first again. Sure, why not? I think 55 was supposed to be the most fuel efficient speed, um, at least based on um, like previous road surveys and stuff like that, but I don't know the details behind that. So, you ask about the tire condition, and the short answer is, it's not good. However, this thing handled like complete ass when I had perfect tire condition, so I know that that's not the entire answer. 
Alcohol. Alright, well, that's... This is a useless tower. Useless. <laughs> and flapping the tars... Flapping the doors makes the car go zoom. Indeed. Uh, let's do a different test then. So let's... I dropped my sensitivity on my steering. So let's see about increasing the sensitivity on the steering. And see if that does anything different. Okay. Nope, that's a rock. Stop. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna go. The new menu is definitely nifty, um, especially just like the main menu before you load a game. You have your, your dude standing there, and you can flail his arms around with a, with a bottle of booze. So the sensitive steering is fine, but it, it's very easy to accidentally get this thing spinning. What is that? Fine, we're going this way. Oh, it's, it's just another outhouse. Okay. I don't think there's going to be anything in this outhouse that I'm going to care about. Just poop, 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 and more poop. Okay. So I had four perfect regular sized tires. And this thing was spinning out like crazy. And then we found the white walls, and I could get three of them up to perfect. And it didn't change the handling at all. It's, it was identical. So as far as the tire condition goes, that doesn't appear to affect anything. At least not from my experience. then this game is unplayable! Uh, I see a radio tower. Alright, we're going this way. Cool. I don't think the radio tower does anything, honestly. I don't think there's anything here, but we're gonna check it out again anyway. The weird thing about the radio tower is you get this situation. And I think if you I think there's something you can do to like trigger these to buttons to do things. And you get like a number on there, but it doesn't it doesn't seem to matter. Yeah, this is dead. No, drums, that's just the current trend. That's the current trend of me kind of losing control anyway. If I try to stay on the road, it, it'll just start spinning. The trend of me hitting sand and then losing control is because I'm suddenly veering one direction or the other to try to like go off into the desert to look at something, which is of course causing the car to turn, which then immediately makes it start to spin. Uh, it's perfectly fine under a certain speed, like 70 or 80. If I can stay under that, I got no real, no real control problems, I can do this, no problem. But as soon as I get up to like 90 or 100, it, it's completely uncontrollable. Uncontrollable and inconsolable. speeding. There's no speed limit signs. There's nothing telling me how fast I should or shouldn't go.
Now, I remember when I played back in January, I was able to go like 160 without any driving straight problems whatsoever. So I don't know if it's just this car or something related to what I have attached to the car. Uh, maybe they're causing some weird physics nonsense. I don't know. All I know is that this car, in particular, during this drive, has been a complete bitch. A little annoying spinny bitch. Alright, what do we got? What do we got going here? What, what do we got going here? You know what? Eh, I was gonna sleep, but we got a little bit of light left. Can I have some gas, please? Oil. Gas. A little, a little bit. Not enough to compensate for how much I've just burned. Could be torque to weight ratio, could be that this thing just really truly is back heavy. Because it definitely drives a whole hell of a lot smoother going in reverse. And it tends to want to go that way naturally. If I start spinning, this thing will flip around and it's going in reverse instantly. Hey, bread. Nothing like eating some floor bread. Uh, alcohol, water, blood. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, weird. There's reflections in the car now if it's shiny enough. You can even see my little cone head and my purple shirt. Look at that. That's nice. That's well done. Oh, uh, okay. It looked like I had something spinning on the ground there. But no, it's just my sausages dangling. Austin Allegro. I'll have to take your word for that. What do we have here? This is dangly poop. And there doesn't appear to be anything else up here. Okay. <laughs> Austin Allegro, which actually was better backwards than forwards. Okay, well, you know, if I could get it to gear properly in reverse, I'd be happy. But unfortunately, it just, it caps out at 69 miles an hour, and I cannot get it to, uh, cannot get it to go any faster in reverse. But it's fine, we're going. And if I can, if I can stick with decent speeds, then I shouldn't kill myself. The problem is, is that this does not have any manual gearing that I can find, so it's really difficult to stick to a certain speed. Because it wants to stay... It wants to stay accelerating or stay decelerating, even though I'm using a pedal. That might also be a sensitivity thing, too. I could probably try to fiddle with that. This is a two-door. With lovely upholstery. Oh, hey, I need food. I should, uh, should pause for a moment. We're gonna... Crack open the back here. Have a piece of ham. Giant bacon, actually. Nosh. There we go.
So how's everyone doing tonight? Are, are we enjoying the long drive so far? Do you have any requests or recommendations? I know it's hard to say go switch to a different vehicle because that's totally dependent on luck. But uh, we could we could we could do paint colors. Car, I swear to God, I need you to go straight and on the road if you could, please. <laughs> So this is an Allegro, okay. So maybe the fact that it's going backwards is the way it's just supposed to be. It was just built that way. <laughs> I could have I could have chosen the sled. Uh, I feel like that might have been difficult on a long journey. Although I'm curious if it's possible. Like, is it possible to just slap a basket on the back of that thing, keep enough food supply on hand to keep alive? Don't have to worry about gas or oil or anything like that. Maybe it maybe it's a possibility. Stay there, please. Hello, Gila. stable and more efficient in reverse. So maybe I could save some gas if I just turn around and let it be. Now, we're running into a bit of a problem. Um, I am getting very low on gas and we're getting very low on places to find gas so this run may actually end up ending tonight if I can't find more gas because I'll be damned if I'm walking in the long drive I don't have a choice. I mean, the other the other answer is I could go in reverse, where the engine is a hell of a lot louder, but I can't go above 70. I was trying to get up to 80 where the revs were going nice and chill. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at something quick. Hang on. Curiously enough, we have a clutch, but there don't seem to be any controls for actually changing gears, other than enabling an H-shifter. 
which I don't have. So if there are no controls to change gears, then how does one change gears? Aha! There it is. There it is. Up, down, reverse, numbers. Okay. Nope, nope, not, nope. Is it, is it doing anything? Hmm. It doesn't do anything. Grab it! <laughs> Got him. It, it doesn't actually do anything. Arrows do nothing. It's, it's driving very much like an automatic. Can I get you to shift down? So if I get up to about a hundred, it'll start to shift down automatically, or or it'll it'll shift up, and then not cause me any more massive revs. So I, I think I just need to get up to a hundred and try to stay around there, because I can't get the gear shifting to work. So I'm just gonna have to massage the speed and the the revs however the gears want to go automatically. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out. How are we doing with gas? We're doing okay. We're doing okay. It would be really nice if these did things. But unfortunately, not. Ladies. Okay, so we have a lovely yellowish color. We have meat. Meat's always good. Except for when I drop it on the floor. Meat's always great. Um, do we want to do any coloring? I have a red with me. And we're, we're currently this... Uh, blue of some variety. I don't know what color blue that is, but we're, we're a blue of some kind or another. Do we want to do any coloring? What the devil is going on up there? Whatever. No gas. Again. Unless there's something up here. Ahaha! Sneaky devil. Sneaky devil. Purple with teal doors. Um, I certainly could try. I don't know for sure if the uh, color matching works in this. So, like in in um, Mombazu, you can do, you know, a a red paint on a blue door and get purple. I don't know if that works with this one. So let's let's find out. Um, sure, body. Kind of, sorta. Kinda, sorta? Yeah? Hmm. 
Now, since that's not shiny, we're going to find out the hard way that that's not a, a proper matching color. But it'll be fine. Uh, and then you. I need to... There. It's kind of more of a maroon. That's how it ended up, but that'll be fine. And then I'm just going to reload with this. Here we go. And we have my red in case we need it. So we got a little bit of gas. Um, there wasn't anything else to speak of here. Do I want shiny bumpers? I think I want shiny bumpers. Stupid rabbit. That color match actually came out pretty good. Um, because the rabbits in this game are not very smart. Sometimes they'll come after you, but if you're too far away, you don't really trigger their aggro. There's a there's a fridge with meat down there. There there's a fridge with meat down there. Um, can can I have it? You know what? I don't need it that badly. I was kind of hoping I could just reach down and grab it, but yeah. It, no. no. Not worth it. That's probably a whole bunch of food that I could use, but I have, I have enough bacon to last me a year in the back here, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And here we go. Alright, I need you to get up and drop your gear down. And I said, I said, get up and drop your gear down, please. No. No, we're not. We're not going to play the the gear working game right now. Okay, that's fine. You'll do whatever you got to do, buddy. Check the. I'll, I'll be sleeping in a moment here. We'll check the controls again to see if there's an option to switch between manual and auto. It's holding low as long as I'm as long as I'm coasting. So we're actually going to be going downhill here, so I can basically just coast the entire way. Main menu has an option to switch? Okay, we'll, we'll take a look at that. Yeah, we can coast down this hill at 80, that's fine. Maybe give it a little bit of a tap every once in a while to keep above 80. And avoid the rock. Oh, 
Okay, well that was nice coasting while it lasted. Tell you what, it's pitch black and I would rather see, so we're gonna stop. Let's see. Throttle brake, steering, shifting, ignition horn lights. Toggle mouse driving might be something worth looking at. Also, the fact that this has VR support is just phenomenal. I, I might need to try that at some point. We have a humming button? Alright. Alright, cool. No, nothing in there, okay. Let's do a savey save, because I haven't saved in a little bit. Where is my fuel gauge? That's a solid question. I don't think I have one of those. That feels like that's a luxury item. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Force manual, auto clutch, auto shift. I'm, a f I'm fine with auto clutch. Okay, okay. Sleek, right, sleep. Got some go power when you, uh, when you do some manual shifting. All right, so I'm as high a gear as I can go right now, and we're just gonna we're just gonna let it be. Killed it. Judging on the ticking. Ah. I didn't kill it. He killed it. Just a little UFO sighting. Nothing, nothing, no big deal. But it kills all your electronics and you're just forced to sit here and wait until he goes far enough away that you can turn your stuff back on. There we go. Oh, ow. Merp. funny because I heard the noise but it wasn't really registering that that's what was happening and I, I, I heard the ticking and I thought you know maybe I overheated or something like that but no no it was just it was just the aliens okay, we're gonna go third person for a bit here I like this. It's a, it's a nice color of plum or something like that. It's 
I do need more spray. I need at least enough spray for both my doors, or my, my trunk and my side door. And I would love to have enough spray for that tire, so I think that tire is going to have to be priority. As much as I want my doors to be shiny, I keep forgetting about that bad tire in the back. That one was my fault. I stopped paying attention. All right, so we're we're staying at about 80, and I'm I'm getting used to the engine noise enough to be able to hear at 80 or so. Um, we're at 86 kilometers so far, 86 and a half. So we're at what 35 kilometers driven so far tonight? Because I think I stopped exactly at 50 yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Whatever. The last time I played. Um, and that was not intentional to stop at exactly at 50, but that's, that's what happened. So I don't know how long I'm planning on driving today, but let me know if you guys want to see something else. I'm going to keep on driving because I'm, an, I'm enjoying. I'm trying to get the schmutz off my monitor without dying. I want to check that actually. There's nothing up here, is there? Well, there's another light. I don't know where that ended up. Noth nothing. Alright, cool. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I don't... There it is. Okay. It's very confused for a moment there. Do I want another one? Do I not want another one? I think is the better question. And the answer is... Whatever the answer is that leaves me with a, another light. And we immediately have another building up ahead. I didn't even see that. Well, all right then. Ooh, another car. Oh, and this is a garage, so we might have a lot of spare parts here. This could be good. Oh, I killed it. Oops. Oh well, I was going to turn it off anyway. So, we have... Eh. We have a station wagon. With a very large looking engine in it. Hmm. Seeing as how much I am hating this car... This is tempting, because this is a mostly intact vehicle, which is fairly rare from what I've seen. What do you guys think? Should we, should we switch out to the station wagon instead of this 
two-door backwards hatchback thing. Meat. Gonna eat the bread. Oh, I need to poop first. Hang on. Uh, we have a, we have a toilet. Hello, tricks. Hello. Get, get up, get up. Okay, fine. We'll go around the front. Where we have a door to jump up. There we go. Ah, there's a leg. Hmm. Well, there's a leg down there now. No. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Ow. Balls. Alright, fine. <laughs> Trex also says switch. Alright, we're switching. As soon as I finish evacuating. There we go. Nice little presents for whoever comes up here next. Oil. Now, the only thing I don't know um, is what the fuck engine is this? I don't know if this is diesel or gas. I don't know if it's like the, the V4 or an inline 4 or V8 or whatever. I don't recognize the engine because there's, there's very little recognizable about this engine. Um, so if anyone knows which engine this is and if this engine is better than this engine, let me know. Uh, I do believe this cool, or this uh, radiator is better than this one at the very least. So we're gonna take this, this one out. How's it going, smooth agent? That did not mount at all. There we go. So this is a gas engine. Do you know what kind of engine is? If it's if it's more powerful than that one. There. All right. Most important part to remove first is this guy. these things attached. Um, I'm sure that means something. Lando 2101, sure. I, I'm positive that that means something. Alright, so it seems like we have functional lights. Which is unfortunate we're going to lose this grill. Because I don't think I can swap out the grill on this thing. Nope. Wait. Nope, that's... Nope. All right. Hang on. Out of curiosity. Can I have all of the lights? No. It's kind of, I was kind of hoping for all of the... Wait. Nope.
That seems legit, right? That seems perfectly fine. Yep. Missed. Alright, rabbits. You stay out there. Be good. Should we go with this? Or should we stick with the regular bumpers? Or should we swap out for these bumpers? Because I think this will work too. As I was saying, I think this will work too. Seems kind of funky. Hey, rabbit just died. Good rabbit. So knowing that, knowing the Golf engine versus the Lando engine, do you know which one's better? The old engine has more horsepower and torque. Interesting. So this engine might not be worth keeping. there for now. No, thank you. There you go. No, thank you. Perfect. Keep my diesel, just in case I need it. So more horsepower and torque means burning more gas, but also means going faster. And since we're going to have a heavier car, that might be necessary, right? Uh, diesel is definitely more available, as far as I've been able to find. I don't know what's up with that, but tis what it is. not cooperating. Alright, there's my blood container. We'll get you... We'll get you in there. There we go. 
Okay. Since I definitely have not even looked inside this thing yet, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that. Um, we'll we'll finish moving house in a moment here. But I'm curious what else is in here. Yeah, oil, shiny bumper. That isn't the right bumper. All right, cool. So did anyone have any feedback on whether or not we were gonna do the regular bumper or this? You can go fuck yourself. Does that look good? We're gonna have all of the lights. may need this in a moment here. Can I just, uh... No. Okay. More lights. All of the lights. Oh. Oh ho ho. Is this what I think it is? I think this is the new V8 that they just released. So maybe we're swapping engines anyway. I'm pretty sure it's a twin cam V8. I think you're right. Chocolate. Oil. All right, I think I think this place is empty. There actually wasn't all that much stuff in here compared to the previous ones I've stopped at. Ooh, cookie. Let me. All right, we're doing it. This engine is the new engine. Who'd have thunk? Twin cam V8 in an old beat up station wagon. All right. You, engine, go that way. You are no longer wanted here. Perfect. Fits like a dream. Uh, they very well could have lessened the loot in the garage. Um, I don't think they fixed the issue of um, save reload. So if you want more loot, stop yourself at a garage, save, and then reload. It'll it'll double up the amount of loot that's in here. Whether or not you find that to be cheaty, it's up to you. Okay. So we're gonna scrubby scrubby this. Get that shiny. Uh, this doesn't need scrubby scrub, right? This is... No, this is already as shiny as it's gonna get with the brush. Uh, so let's do some more fixing up stuff. Yeah, they did have an update today, and it was an unlisted update, so I have no idea. Okay. So let's... Let's uh, swap over all of the everything. Was that the rabbits or was that the music I'm currently listening to? I have no idea. Alright, you go, you go that way. You go that way. You come with me. Yes. Yes is the answer to that question.
Nope. Nope. There we go. I, I think you might actually be right. I think it's rabbits and the music. Okay, more tires, more tires, tires is good. There was no spray available in there, which is unfortunate. Why? Why are we doing this? What's why? Why are you being like this? There we go. And then, of course, unfortunately, our cruddy tire. If I can find more spray, or if I can find a replacement tire, we'll we'll fix it. Okay. Get. 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 Why you no get? Get. There we go. That's what it was. The tapping of F was actually triggering a hold of F much more quickly than I was expecting. That's that's the problem, All right? Oh, interesting tactic. Hold F until it goes up and then back down again. All right, cool. Okay, uh, I don't think I have any more hubcaps I can steal. I'm gonna take this, because this is my oil. Meat. Cleaning products. Uh, so I, I have this hubcap, which is the newer model of hubcap that I think is meant to go with the white walls. But I am missing one. I did lose one in combat, uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna scrub up a new one. true. You will get annoyed either way, so might as well pick the one that works. There. Uh, I'm also gonna change these out. So you... Oop. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. You. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so I have a spare basket. We're going to put you up here for now. Sure. Why not? You go over here. Now, the, um, the sponge works on body parts once they're at this state, but it does not work on tires once they're at this state. So, unfortunately... We're just gonna have to deal. I'm gonna take this mirror because it's shinier. Is there anything else I need to take out of here? Oh, I need to swap my oil over. Yes, that's the thing I need to do. Uh, spray works to refresh tires.
Alright, where's my where's my open other side, I think? Yeah, there we are. Uh open, fill. Wonderful. Now, uh, was there any more oil in here? Because otherwise I have a little bit of spare oil. Oh, perfect. Almost exactly as much as I need. That'll do. And then the rest of this place is... Irrelevant, I think. Yeah, the rest of this place is irrelevant. Oh, I forgot. The katana. I don't know if I want to keep the katana, because I don't actually use it. What are you? I just have a random empty. Screw off. And this is my my sunroof. It is a little bit of a shame to lose the sunroof, but it's fine. Ah, we don't have a door um, pocket like the other car. So I'm just going to have to have this sitting and flailing wildly inside my, uh, my driver's compartment here. And uh, sit on it. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Nothing bad could possibly go wrong. Oh, I need... You. We're gonna do a little bit of sponging on the body. There we go. A little bit better. Oh, we'll, we'll shine it up good. There. That's the end of my sponge. Bye! Uh, and, actually, do we have paint in here to refresh this? We do! We have paint in here to refresh this, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna spray this purple as well. This is more of a lavender. Actually, I like that. That's, that's nice. I was not able to get the katana to stay in the basket reliably. It kept wanting to flop over. So I just kind of stopped trying. There we go. Okay. Let's, um... Gas. Right. There's gas in here. Well, that's just freaking lucky. Because I totally forgot about gas and I was about to start siphoning that. I'm going to siphon it anyway. Because I need it. But we're going to have a little bit of a nap. We'll, we'll have our final rest in this car. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I could, I could do that. Uh, in fact, I have a spare basket just for such an occasion. Basket. I need you over here. Katana. I need you over here. I mean, kinda. Let's get you a little bit more upright, shall we? We're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna do this and we're gonna do it correctly. Close enough. There. 
bus taught you to basket everything? Yes. I mean, basketing everything is pretty good anyway. You can get away with some of it in the car, but it tends to fly all over the place anyway. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna siphon this gas because I needs it. Now I'm just gonna figure out how to do this correctly without causing problems. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna stick, and then we're gonna grab, and we're gonna stick. Three jerry cans per basket. Do you like tip them at a tiny angle or something? Um, I need you to stop. Hmm. There we go. Siphoning gas. Royal pain in the ass in this game, but. It's fine. Yeah, I totally forgot about the uh, the part about just hitting another number to put it away. I'm just so used to doing the manual ripping method. But that way is so much more clean. Okay. Well, after... After knowing the joys of having an empty can, I am going to keep it around just in case. So we have our coolant, which is not giving me a number. No. Not entirely sure why it's not giving me a number. But we have it. I'm gonna have to pull that thing out every time to check it and or fill it. But it's fine. <laughs> That's also fine. We're not worrying about that part. <laughs> uh, are we sticking with the more lights? I think that was what the, the general consensus was. Now we've checked to see if this thing actually newcomer. turns on. Jack BMG, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, that was that was a noise. All right. Uh, so, do we have? We do not have an adjustable odometer, so we're going to lose track of how much we've traveled. This is fine. I'm not overly concerned. Where's my... Where, where's my parking brake? Where's my parking brake? Par parking brake? Parking brake? Ah, there it is. I don't know why I wasn't seeing that. Alright. Uh, also, before we go, I'm gonna have a snack. Yeah, it tells you the total before I reload. It doesn't tell me now. I wanna know now. So before we leave, we traveled... 88.2, give or take. 
and we were at exactly 50 before we started for the night. So we're at 38.2. Oh, we're going to be driving straight into that sandstorm, aren't we? I mean, I guess I could. I guess I could bring the old odometer with me. You. Where are we putting you? Where are we putting you? We're putting you, like, right in a... there? And I... I can't just attach it to anything, can I? Well... Balls. Hmm. I wonder if it works without being attached to anything. Can I just shove it in the glove box and then check on it occasionally? <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. The reason I wasn't seeing my parking brake is it's right here, under my arm. Alright, we're going. Curious indeed. Um, all right, all right. Okay. Let's get my stuff back. Did I lose anything else? I didn't go very far. I think we're fine. Uh, I, I think maybe too much power. That's very possible. Um, let's uh, let's try that again. Okay. Jesus. Jesus. I need to start this thing in like third gear so I don't spin the tires out just by going forward. <laughs> All right, well, it's hazardous. We're also bouncing and jiggling a lot. I think that actually requires a save to fix. So we're gonna we're gonna do that quick. Um, we're gonna we're gonna. This thing is idling uphill. That's how much freaking power it's got. I don't. I don't even have my foot on the gas. It's literally just idling uphill. <laughs> All right. If I drop it to neutral, it stops idling uphill. Jesus. Oh, good lord. The zoom on this engine, holy crap. Okay. Chill, engine. Chill. Chill. Save. Save. Load. Yes. <laughs> We're going. We're fucking going.
This is third gear to hit 100. Fourth gear for 140. And note, 160 plus, never mind. I was gonna say notice we're not spinning out, but never mind. Never mind. I, I stand corrected. <laughs> this engine is insane. I love it. God, it just wants to go. It wants to go so fast. Uh, there's five gears, I think? No, that's, that's a hole. No, stop that. There might only be four gears on this one, I'm not positive. But it wants to go so fast the camera is having a hard time keeping up. Notice how we fly backwards <laughs> every time I try to accelerate. Oh, good lord. Alright. Well, let's, let's try to keep this thing at a moderate pace. Keep the revs down. Keep it going at like 80. Got a lot more gas now, though, so I'm less concerned. That looks like a building up ahead. Isn't it a building? It's a something. I think it's just a well. Is that just a well? What? All right. I mean, I'm curious. Oh, killed it again. And there's a ship over there. There's a bike down this well. There's a bike down that well. Alright. Fair enough. Which, one's you, which one is my water? Are you, are you my water? You're my water. <laughs> Little Timmy's bike is stuck down the well. Yeah, I cannot start this thing in, in first gear. It just wants to go way too fast. So this is second gear. And it still wants to accelerate way too quickly. Third gear. Fourth gear. Uh, looks like it's only got four forward gears. Which is perfectly fine. Right. Lights. Oh, jeez. We have a lot of lights up front. Forget about that. <laughs> there, there's a whole lot of light going on up front.
Okay, next time we stop, we'll check the odometer to see if it's, uh, if it's calculating while we're driving without it being attached. Because our current odometer is running, and we're at, I don't know, I think it's, I think it's almost at 10 kilometers, I'm not sure. Oh, that ship was far off to the left and way uh, back a ways. I think it would be kind of sort of outside of my uh, my self-imposed limit of keeping the road in in sight. I got plenty of gas though; I'll be fine. This thing came with like 15 liters, which was triple what I had on me at the time, so I'm fine. Howdy, kinder. How you doing? So, things to note, this car is much more stable, it does not swerve back and forth like crazy, and it's using the exact same tires, so we know it's not the tires. Uh, other thing to note, this engine is absolutely freaking beastly, and causes this thing to accelerate and pretty much shred the rubber off the bottom of the tires. Uh, it can go up to 160 kilometers pretty much instantly, um, but then the car becomes very unstable, and it can't be driven without flipping. So I'm not going to do that. Oh, we have a something up here. Looks like the pickup truck, I believe. And a sponge. Sponges are good. Also, due to the, the way the clutch works and all of the, the gearing, I can't actually stop this car without killing it. I'm fine with that, because I usually want to stop the car to kill it anyway. Generally speaking, you don't want to do that, but it's fine. Alright, we're going to sleep. I have a lot of lights going on. Okay. So, we have a... a body of a truck. Empty fuel tank. Nothing else to speak of. Okay. I, I think that's something up there. Nothing under? Okay. Oh. Tire or a, a wheel. <laughs> no, no gas station simulator here. Although, if we we're gonna do a themed evening, this would be one of them. Okay. Do a little bit of scrubby, scrubby. A little bit of scrubby scrubby, and this sponge is done. Huck. Tab, right, unequip first before hucking. Binoculars, okay. Oh, I need the poop. More lights. More lights. Hang on, it's gonna get loud for a second here.
Freund dir will. Uh, half liter gas? Sure, why not? And that's it, I guess. Alright, fair enough. I do like the truck, um, but we did the truck at the beginning of the first run, so we're gonna we're gonna stick with this because I like this thing. I like the lavender -y color. I kind of like the lavender with the blue doors, but if we find a uh, a green paint, we'll be able to paint those like a uh, a teal or something. Um, yeah, we're good. Right, I have to start it in first gear. And then it wants to lurch forward. There we go. All better. I totally forgot to stop and check the odometer. Next stop it is. Stopped. So why the hell not? Um, I need to close this first off so I don't lose any gas. Huh. Weird. Alright. And then. No, it is not tracking. It is not tracking. That is unfortunate. But, of the problems that we can have, that doesn't need to be one of them. I can forget that that exists. I to do that. What the hell game? <laughs> what the hell game? Why does it just randomly decide the camera angle needs to spin in circles? I don't get it. Chill. Alright, is that a thing off in the distance, or is that... I think that's a thing off in the distance. And I think it's not too terribly far off in the distance, so I'm going to go look at it. 
Yes, this is this is what we call a thing. Oh, that's a whole lot of things. Just dropping in from the sky. I see some spray. Okay, this is good. I don't think I've seen this building before in my play. But as I mentioned before... Oh god. Chill. It's idling forward through the park.
Okay, uh, so empty, empty. We have another sponge. This is good. one use on it. Okay. Uh, are you a useful brush? You are. Do I need more brushes though? I'm kind of I'm kind of collecting all the cleaning supplies I can just in case but I don't know if I need it necessarily. me talking up a storm not being loud and obnoxious like usual just gentle meow noises alien I think the inside of the diner is cleared out. Other than the pile of poops. What about the back of the diner? Oh, there's a full truck here. That wasn't a trailer at all. That was a truck. Hmm. That's both fortunate and unfortunate. But I just finished shining up the the station wagon. Also, can I actually mount this on? <laughs> Jesus. Chill. Can I mount this on anything? I don't think I can. I think this is just purely for headwear. Green! Well, that's handy. I got green. And then we also have some sort of four-door sedan thing. Fine. Oh, is this a better white wall tire than my current one? I think it is. That saves me from having to spray the hell out of it. I do have the mo one of the better engines in the game. That is a thing. And there's a truck over there that could make use of said engine. Where? Where? Ah, there. Is he? Screw you, bunny. All 
Um, so I don't have a, a truck radiator. I don't have any truck tires, so we'd have to go with the white walls. Um, one thing I don't know is what fits in here. Like, can I, can I attach baskets to the inside of the thing? Can I use a bed? <laughs> Is, is that a thing I can do? I can attach baskets. Oh, we have more... We have more meat. Uh, actually, I'm gonna drive the vehicle over here. Because either way, I need the stuff that's over here. So we're gonna, we're gonna make a little bit of a trip. Tiny, tiny trip. No. Chill, chill, chill. It barely knows the meaning of the word chill. Ah, there's, there's boxes here. Um, not anymore. Chill, engine. Chill yourself. of some variety. Neat. Oil, water, diesel, alcohol, and the coolant. Sure, why not? Uh, where is... I, you know what? I've seen one of these before, and I don't know where the hell its gas tank is. I tried to find it before, and I couldn't. Because it's got the front trunk, but I have no idea where its gas tank is. Not, it's not on the back. It's not on either side. I have no idea. I, I guess I won't be checking that one for gas. Ooh, we have a hood. First off, is this... Is, is that the truck? Is that the truck hood? I don't actually know. Um, the truck, no. The truck is definitely not the truck hood. Um, so I don't need that. We've got plenty of paint. We've got... Ooh, we've got a full spray. Lovely. Lovely, lovely spray in the friggin' basket. Get in the basket. Get in the basket. Fine. Uh, you are alcohol. Alcohol. So we have a truck tire. Not really, not really enough for this run. Oh, we have more spray. Even better. <laughs> Taking all the spray with me, regardless. Even more spray. Okay, so the inside spray was crap. The outside spray is good. And we have a pinkish color, it looks like. Okay. Even more spray. We're gonna consolidate these sprays as best as I can. As soon as I have a handle on what I'm doing next. What are you? Oh, you're just a radio. Okay. A deeper green. I like it. More, more paint for reloads. 
Okay, okay. So, um, truck? Let's do truck. Yeah, four white walls could be enough. Definitely could. Um, actually, before I go too far, let's uh, let's check up here. Ooh, flying, flying is nice. Uh, your your car, yep, your your car indeed. Empty, empty, great. Uh, guess? Guess? Guess. With oil in it. Alright, fair enough. And we do have one of these. I might want to make use of this, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Okay. So, even though we just got this, and it's nice and pretty, and it's got all the lights on it, I think it's time. I've been wanting a truck. Uh, the bar with holes in it can work exactly the same as what I'm doing with the arms. It can be used as an intermediate ta attachment point. Truck gang. I have not had my hands on a revolver, so I don't know how to unload them. Are these the same freaking shades of green? And I was imagining different shades. They are ever so slightly different. This one has a little bit more blue to it. This one has a little bit more yellow to it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're good. Now, one thing we don't have on the truck is doors. Um, but that can be fixed eventually. In fact, I can probably steal these doors or something. Uh... Does the condition matter? Because I've definitely seen them in various conditions, like this one's rusty as well, but does that matter? I have no idea. It might. Condition might mean it paints faster. Interesting. Can you fix the condition? Like, could I, uh... Could I, could I scrub your brush? You can! You can fix them! Well, that's just, that's just wonderful. That's, that's some hardcore attention to detail right there. You want your paint can to work better? Fix it up! Yes, I'm being very anal retentive about the uprightness of my brushes. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Right, I'm just gonna steal these lights for now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you always worry about me. Well, I appreciate that you worry. Alright, let's have a nap in our brand new truck that we're still working on fixing. All the sleeping, by the way, is absolutely murdering my food and drink supply, but we're doing okay. I'm not overly concerned about it. Okay, so we have four, four and a half liters of diesel already in the truck, which is great. Um, let's do, oh, diesel though. It's not a diesel engine, so I'm going to have to take that out. And I'm going to have to siphon and transfer all of my gas. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Alright, let's get the spray in here as well. Actually, can these be side by side? Do they fit that way? I did not see any barrels. I, I, I don't think I saw any barrels. I'm pretty positive. Why are there two different... There's, there's multiple different spray bottles. There's, there's this lovely fella here. And there's this lovely fella here. I didn't even notice. There might even be more. I have oh, there is more. The one that I have down there is also different. That is true. It not all jizz is made equal. They they have different different potencies, different applications. So no, they cannot be. Uh, they cannot be put side by side. So we're just gonna do it like this. I don't know for sure if this one can fit in here. It does not look like it fits in there, but it does stay. So that'll be fine. Alright, so we're going to start transporting stuff. For right now, I'm going to be kind of haphazard with it. We'll clean it up in a little bit. Uh, these... That have my lights on them. I think I would like to go on the outside. Just thought of something, okay. Oh. Well, that's a problem. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Alright, so attaching things is kind of hazardous at times. Um, putting one of the wooden ramps at the door might make it easier, yeah, but those wooden ramps, my understanding is that they can be kind of hazardous to my health. Also, I don't know if you know this, and this might be, this might be something that uh, might help you out with your run. And I, I don't know if the trailers have the same thing, but these, if you can get stuff to balance on them, act as baskets as well. Assuming you don't throw things. But they're really good for barrels because they are very much barrel shaped. Also for large things. There. Now that that's there, it's locked in place just like a basket. So 
So it doesn't, it's not great for small objects, but it does work better for bigger objects. All right, we're just gonna put that there for now. Uh, I do not have a back door for this thing. We'll get one eventually. Uh, let's see, you can go on this side. That works. You. Uh, let's see, you can go right here. Well, now you can ungive up on barrels. Why do you think you need to give up on your current run? That's, that's pretty much the same reason I gave up on my first run, was the, the loss of road. you to I'm gonna need you to fit if you could please I'm gonna need you to fit that uh, is a solid question but first can I get you in here How does this thing... How do you... There we go. That's where it is. That is a very good question. So, um, I'm gonna try two different things. I'm gonna try the... Uh, the brushes. And, I'm gonna try the spray. It looks like it should, based on the the puffs that it's doing, but it doesn't seem to be. Okay, so test one, fail. Don't worry about that. Uh, and now we take the spare spray. The answer appears to be no. With some ample brushing and 13 sprays did not do it. I'm going to assume that that means it cannot be done. Hmm, that seems accurate. Okay, can I use these doors temporarily? Technically, yes. 
I'm gonna take this and slap this on. Slap this on here. Technically, yes. Perfect. Technically, yes is all I need. Attach anything to this, or is this more of a uh... no? Okay, it's kind of hoping we could use it to like attach anything to, but no. And then this can go kind of wherever. This is my water. You're important. In fact, you're important enough to get your own slot right here. Ah, uh, to get your own slot. Okay, apparently there's an exhaust there that I can't deal, do with. So we're gonna put you right there. Water. Gonna have a snack. Gonna take my meat basket. The uh, meat basket apparently also took this thing. This is my blood, I believe. Yeah, this is my blood. Meat basket. Can I fit this last round of meat in there to make it easier? Perfect. Meat basket. Nope, up, 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 up. Meat basket. Yes, you can. blood container almost as important as the water container so you go right there uh, this is my spare so here's the part where I need to swap out all of the gas so you can go fuck off sir I don't need to keep this diesel so we're just gonna we're just gonna drain it Drained. Perfect. Perfect. Now, if I could have another uh, container, you know what? This will be perfect. You're filled with alcohol. Let's just fix that problem. Actually, now that I think about it, this is a 20 liter radiator. Probably would be better to use for this, but I don't know for sure. I don't know about the um, the radiator efficiencies, especially compared to this engine. But maybe we'll keep it because it's a nice container anyway.
There we go. Hello, Gila. How are you? Um, do they list the um, liter capacity that might help identify them? Because this is the 20 liter, and the one that I have installed currently is the 5 liter. That might tell us something. Bear empty in the back. I need more baskets. I don't have nearly enough baskets. I don't think there's any more baskets in here. Actually, hang on. Let's, let's grab this quick. And let's grab this. I just want to see how this looks compared to the other one. Well, that just looks downright silly. They both look down red silly. Uh, that one actually looks a little bit better. I don't know. It's also really dark. I probably should go to sleep. How do they even get the name? Like, where are they getting that information from? It's not anywhere in the game. It sure as hell doesn't list the name of it when you point at it. <laughs> but whatever, yeah, we could definitely trial and error. At the very least, this is a higher quality. I think, by a little bit. Okay, so let's, let's test this out again. So this is what it looks like with this hood. It does keep the lights visible underneath. And then there's this one, which covers some of the lights, but it's got a more interesting look to it. This one is silly. Let's, uh, let's brush it up and see what it looks like. Plenty of brushes. I gotta stop doing that. I don't know why I keep doing that. Well, let's turn it on now that I have gas in here and see what it looks like with the lights on so that's what it looks like with this hood obviously we're gonna paint it a color that doesn't suck And that's what it looks like with this hood. Oh, the old odometer works. Okay. Let's grab that. Come on. Come get get it. Get out of the hole. There we go. So which which one do we like more? 
I think the other one has a little bit more flavor to it. Apparently that's correct. I wasn't entirely aware of that. But kind of same with the hubcaps, I can never get those to be polished without taking them off first. So Smooth Agent likes the second one, probably because all of the lights are visible. The one, are you sticking with your uh, first one? Oh, so Smooth Agent, you like this one, the one that I just painted pink. Sorry, that's just fun to do. So you're, you're not a fan of this one. Also, hang on, uh, do we have any more... You, you like the silly one? We all, we all like the silly one? We're going with the silly one then. Uh, I don't think I have any more stuff to take out of here. I think we're good. Oh, right. You. Important. Um. I don't have a mirror. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Wait, we're, gonna, we're gonna set you right there. Uh, yoink. I don't have a mirror because I don't need a mirror. But we're putting a mirror in. Because I need... I need something to attach. My dude. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Stop. Stop rocking. Stop. 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 <laughs> there we go. Alright, we're sticking with the silly one. Uh, let's paint that one up, though. Get up. Get up! Uh, paint it up greenish? Let's do greenish. I don't have any blue paint yet, so we're going to do greenish. There we go. There we go. We have all of our green paint refilled. Let's see, can I put this back there? I think I can. There we go. Bunch of paint. Have my, my containers here. Bunch of random shit sticking out the side. Probably don't need the bar but I don't know what else to do with the bar, at least not at the moment. Uh, I've got various baskets with lights sticking outside. I've got my, my, my meat hangers. 
So the only thing I don't have is wheels. We should do that. Um, I might buff up the wheels before I put them on. They don't need too much buffing, but might as well. Uh, yes, the VW Purple Hatchback, and then we went to the, um, the station wagon that kind of turned into a lilac color. We only kept that one for a very short while before we found the truck, so we're moving that over now. Should we purple up the truck too? I think we're purple. We're gonna have to purple up the truck. I don't think I have a choice either. I just need a, I need a blue spray. I, it's very lucky that so far all of the cars that I've been finding have been blue, so that I've been able to spray them with red and turn them into purple. Um, but still. All right, so this one's already shiny. This one's already good to go. So we're just gonna slap this one on. This I might buff up a little bit. Let's grab a spray. Are you not... are you not spraying? Apparently that's as shiny as that's going to get. Um, cool. There we go. Probably shouldn't be leaving the truck running while I'm doing this. It's probably not the smartest idea. Okay, let's grab another spray, get the rest of the tires shiny. Drums hates tire shine. I am also curious why. I think we might be ready to go. Um, I do need to purple. Uh, purple's outside. Question is, how purple? Without any blue, I can't really tone it down a little bit, so we're just going to leave it like that. 
And I'm gonna go refill this so we have it. Um, I wasn't aware that you could have two things in hand. Alright, that's good to know. Itty bitty wheels on a big truck. I have a kitty. I have a long kitty. <laughs> Extreme close up of the Gila. Long kitty. Long flaily kitty. Oh, right, I can take that extra wheel, just in case. Hi, kitty. Hey, kitty. Smoosh the kitty. Smoosh the kitty. Okay. Okay. After long deliberation and much, much ado, we are about ready to leave. Uh, this is that old white wall. Oh, I didn't even check. I didn't even check the, the, this side. We have an actual purple color. We have an actual purple color. Hooray. So, Larry, thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. I do not use any mods. I, I am pure vanilla. But that's mostly because I hate how the mods are delivered. Um, and I have a really hard time finding any useful mods on their Discord. Close enough. Okay. So now that I know that there's more stuff over there, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a sleep, we're gonna have an eat. Right. I am full. Come here, rabbit. Come here, come here, rabbit. <laughs> they FedEx the mods to you on flash drive. I wouldn't be surprised. Hi, Pine. How's it going? What drums? I, I don't understand what you were having a problem with. I actually think I can fill up this water here. I think. I know there is a, a faucet here, but I don't know if it's easy to fill. And I've got 15 liters. It's, it's fine. Uh, let's see. I need food now. Nom. Okay. One more sleep, and then we got stuff to look at. If it's a faucet that has a sink under it, no, it's not easy. Um, because the, the jerry can has to fit under the flow. Um, if it's the... That's going to disturb me every single time I get out and turn around, and that hand is going to be there. Um, if it's the faucet that's at the, um, the bunker, no. 
Or, d yes, it is easy. Um, there's also, I believe, a faucet at the water tower that's easy to fill from. Really? I'll have to try that. I hear you, Rabbit. I disagree with what you're saying, but I hear you. Okay. Blue! Hooray! We have we have purple and blue now. Get get out get out get shoot. Blue, and I think I just saw something else. A revolver. Huzzah! All right, we found some great stuff in the in the garbage so far. Let's see: shattered toilet, shattered toilet, shattered toilet, bullets. For the revolver and the brush. Uh, the screaming sound smooth agent was a rabbit, yes. Yeah, I heard about the better crates. Um, I'm curious how good that is. I wish there was a better way for them to deliver their mods. Cause having to sort through their their Discord page or their their Discord channel and find all the various DLL files that people have uploaded, it's damn near impossible to find the right mods in there. Oh, Smooth Agent, you read my mind. I was already going there. Uh, my understanding is that um, the crates that are in the game right now are actually planned to eventually contain stuff. Uh, but the dev just hasn't done it yet. We're getting there. We're getting there. I have no idea if this is actually going to fit through the door in the back, but we're going to try it. Because if it works, it'll be great. I don't think it. I don't think it fits. I don't think it fits. Oh, it fits. Oh, it fits. It fits almost perfectly. Uh, yep. Yeah, I probably could lock it to the side, but I don't know if it would fit under there. Now I need to fit in here. Come on, come on. Mm. Okay, now I'm in. Now we need to fit it somewhere. So for right now, we're gonna scoot stuff. And we're gonna we're gonna scoot stuff. I don't need this window. That window's pointless. So we're going to put the fridge up against that. I wish there was a way to lock this fridge down. That would be wonderful. But for now, I now have, I now have a fridge. 
However, this meat gets to go out with all the other meats. Oh, the fridge will absolutely stay, for sure. <laughs> there we go. got a you've got an explosion rate all right that's not that's not comforting all right so R plus mouse to open cylinder uh, I'm not sure there's a way to reload that or to unload that But it's a thing. We've got it. So that means we're gonna we're gonna drop that. We're gonna drop. Uh, we're gonna drop that. We're gonna drop that. There we go. Does the mod loader that they've got, does that actually search for and recognize all other mods so I don't need to find them myself? So, like, just open up the mod loader and it will list all available mods? Because if so, then that would be a lot easier to work with. Alright, I'm gonna take... Oh, well, in that case... That might be a thing I'll explore for next time. Thank you for letting me know. I hadn't had a chance to look into that much. Because I do love me some good quality of life mods. That, that is a thing I enjoy. Alright, so my, my bacon can stay out of the fridge. That's fine. Uh, this can go into the brush, ba uh, the brush basket. We now have a blue. So let's play with the blue a little bit. Uh, let's do... this needs to be a little bit more... tealish. I think that's about right. I'd like for this to be a little bit more of a darker purple. That's better. That's better. Much better. And we have an actual purple purple. I could probably use that instead. I probably will try that just to see how well it looks. Also, let's fix up this, uh... Um, hmm. Alright, I have found a problem with putting stuff in that basket. I can't reach the stuff that's in that basket. <laughs> that is... A little bit of a problem. Uh, Alright, fine. No, that's no, that's that's not how I wanted that to go. How about... there. There we go. Yeah, I've seen the AI traffic one in practice, and I'm not a huge fan of it. At least not in its current version. Uh, 
There we go. That's a little bit more vibrant. Lovely. only thing that I'm concerned about at the moment is the security of my stuff. It's not too terribly secure back there. Um, can I just... Eh? Are you gonna stay? It might not stay, actually. Um... That'll probably stay. Oh, that's a good question. Can I use another car part as the back door? Let's find out. Not a trunk. Possibly a door. Yes, drums. That is how you do firearm security. Were you not aware? Looks like probably not. Looks like it's only going to accept the truck back door thing. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, in lieu of that, then, we're going to use the fridge. Always good to keep your oil refrigerated anyway. I'm sure that's a legitimate thing. Actually, that works really well. Okay, perfect. If there was a way that I could strap this down, I would be really happy. But uh, I can't at the moment, so we're gonna... We're going to finally go, by the way. We're finally going to go, right? I think, I think we're finally ready to go. Which way did I come in? <laughs> I, I have lost track of everything, because I came in a little ways away. There's the road, over there. Okay road. We're going that way. Lights on the right. Uh, yes, we will take a picture, um, but I want to get, I want to get moving first. missing this piece that's supposed to cover that up. So for right now, we have a very dangerous engine right next to me. Uh, this will be fine. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Alright. This is fine. I'm probably going to need to save and load. Because this thing's on a little bit of a crash course. I can hear it. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. Sounds remarkable. Okay. We're going to... We're going to... Come to a stop here. Sleep. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a photo up. Be 
beautiful. Lovely. Loving it. Alright, and then we're going to do a save because uh, A, I haven't saved in a while, and B, we need to save load. Ah, balls, I forgot the tire. Ah, I forgot the tire. We, we didn't go very far. We can go back. We have a light. Lovely. Okay. I literally have to be in third gear for this thing to drive forward without lurching. Hits. Gonna need you to. Gonna need you to, to hold it together here, game. I think it's a combination of too much power and, uh,. Too much loose objects that this thing is attempting to put together. Also, where did my mirror go? I have my, I have my, my dude. Mirror. Alright, all right. cool. <laughs> it almost works, Pine. It almost works. tire was over here. That rabbit right there just died to my truck and got ejected that way. Cool. Okay. Um, how about we change up this stuff a little bit? You can go in here. I have a feeling I might be carrying too much stuff. And this is a this is a bad problem of mine. I do this all the time. Uh, but I think it's actually affecting the game. As much as I don't want that to be the thing, I'm pretty sure that's the thing. fridge is the one you had the most issues with. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking that the fridge might be the one causing it. I I don't I don't like that answer cuz I like my fridge. And I would like my fridge to continue being the thing. But if I can't get my fridge to chill the fuck out, we're going to have to get creative.
grab it. Don't do it. I don't, I don't want to waste my bullets. I will shoot you, though. I, I will shoot you. Alright. Fair enough. Rabbit, this is what you get. Yeah, the fridge is really nice, but if the fridge is going to be freaking out and causing my game to have, like, multiple spasm heart attacks, I, I'm going to have to set that aside. Wait, was there a blue here the whole time? Well, fine, be that way. Okay, so we've got the spare tire. Hmm. I'm debating on the fridge process. Because the only thing that I can do instead of fridge is baskets, and I don't have any more at the moment. So. Why are they trying to kill my car? I don't approve. Stop it. Clipping into stuff. I think part of the issue is the clipping into stuff, but I'm not positive. So let's close you. Let's try the drive again. If the drive is still garbage, we'll figure out how to how to get rid of the fridge and keep my stuff. Very wobbly. <laughs> yeah, rabbits and other rodents are brutal on tubing for some reason. Um, I know in my, one of my old cars. I went to go get my air filter changed and the uh, the guy came back. He came out to me like in the waiting room and he showed me this picture on his phone that was basically a fully built up rat's nest inside of my air duct. It was great. I mean the tires could be part of the problem. I know part of the problem is the the V8 engine just has so much friggin' power that it just constantly stutters trying to go forward. Um, I literally can't get the truck to go forward on first or second gear without it just bouncing and lurching. And I had the same problem with the uh, station wagon too, so... I think that's part of it is that the V8 just has so much friggin' power that the game can barely handle it, especially with the amount of jerking that's going on. But once I get up to third and fourth gear, it's a lot smoother. It's really 
really loud with that thing right up in my ear, though. Engine. Right there. better from a distance. Yeah, so aside from the first and second gear starting and stopping situation, this actually drives really smooth. Oh, uh, e, ooh, ah, ooh, e, ah, ah. <laughs> Good night, Smooth Agent. So, combination of this truck, whatever is going on that I've attached to this truck, and loading up a building causes my computer to have a freaking panic attack. I don't know what it is, I don't know why it is, but it is. But we're gonna we're gonna scoot forward ever so slowly here, so they don't anger the engine gods. This is idle. Like this is without me touching anything. <laughs> I have to turn off the engine to get the thing to stop rocking back and forth. But I enjoy it for all of its idiocy. All right, we got another bar. Sure. Why not slap another bar on there? Okay, what do we got? Uh, I think this is actually the appropriate bumper for the truck. But where's the fun in that? Um, so you go there. Because the appropriate bumper for the truck is going to replace that, and I like our light bar. So we're going to keep the light bar. Uh, we have... oh my god. We have a we have a barrel of 44, 45 liters of gas. Hell yeah! Also, <laughs> I never... never closed the gas tank. It's fine. Alright, what else we got? We got a yellow oil. We have a shiny, brand new, clean white wall. We have a truck tire. Yes, salary, but... At the same time, I did not have this problem until acquiring this truck. Normally, I, I have a fairly powerful computer, and normally it doesn't freak out when simply going up to one of these buildings. And it only started freaking out when I had this truck. So something's up with the truck. I don't know what it is, but it is. All right, so this is empty. You go over there. Mm -mm -mm. Empty. Alcohol. Oil. Still don't think I need oil, but we'll we'll top it up. Where's the best place to top this thing up from? Ah. I see. There isn't really an easy answer to this problem at the moment. There we go. Do 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 do
we have another of the appropriate white wall uh, rim or hubcaps. Empty fuel tank. More spray. Spray is good. Ooh, hucked that one a little bit far. This mess. This is gonna take a while. Why are you stuttering, buddy? Don't stutter. Stuttering's bad. You mean in the future of the game? No idea. I haven't heard any comments about battery life or anything like that. hatch or something not entirely sure which um hmm this might be for the trailer because I don't I don't think this goes anywhere on my truck bonk top sides Oh. Well, that's curious. Huh. All right. Oh, God. Oh. And this. We're getting all the truck bits. Battery management would be cool. I mean, I'm, I'm all for more uh, management stuff going on here. More bacon. Love it. Whole bunch of diesel. Don't want it. Uh, we have a rim to go with that truck tire that's out there. That didn't move at all. Uh, let's see. Gas and oil. Empty. Another rim. Actually, we have two rims here. They're kind of crap condition, but they'll do. So we technically have four full rims now, and two tires. I don't think there's any more tires in here. Oops, spilled whatever that was.
Got a liter of water in there. You're just alcohol and water. Okay. Get, get. More gas. Always could use more gas. Alright. Didn't work as intended. It's fine. We'll drink this one too. That's usually how modding works um, in any game that I've seen with modding. Is that the devs will have their set of features that they want in the game. And the modders will decide that they want something else. And they will focus really diligently on getting that other feature added in. And if it's done well enough, sometimes the devs will take that and put that into the game. Um, other times the devs will just leave it up to the modders because the modders did it better than they ever could. Bacon. More bacon. Gonna take the spray for now. Now, how am I gonna tear carry all this crap? And should I carry all of this crap? I guess I could just put them in the back and hope that they stay, because they're not absolutely critical for me right now. Also, is there anything up? Come on, up, 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 up. Up, I says. Hmm. The bar, whatever. Yes, and yes. Okay. I could. I could put two on the front or back. I don't know which would be better to put on the front or back yet. Like, do we do we know which would be better? I mean, I guess, worst case, we could just try it out and see what happens. Alright, so first off, we need a brush. Dead brush. Dead, 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 dead brush. Uh, then we need a spray. This one will do just not just fine, and we need to get this tire up and shiny. Wheel can stay for now. Okay, front or back, front. Or back. Hmm. Let's do back. I 
And, and we'll, we'll hold on to these for a little bit, just in case. No, stop that. I'm trying to pick you up. I'm trying to pick you up. Alright, let me grab you. Put you in the back with that one. We'll see if they can stay in one place. Pull you off. Put you on. All right. Now we're we're a little bit um a little bit uh, front tippy, but that's fine. It's fine. I do need to poop, so hang on. Hang on. We're going back. We're going back here to poop. Perfect. There we go. I think we're done. I think we've done everything we could possibly accomplish here. Hang on. Yes. I did close that. Shut up, rabbit. We're doing just fine. And I think those wheels just settled down into place. One was stacked on top of the other one. And uh, now that it's settled, I think they're even more stable than before. This is wonderful. We're gonna have to fix up that hatch. We're gonna have to get more of those little hatches. I didn't even know that those little hatches were a thing. I thought those were just kind of windows or something. Great. I love my new truck. Now doing speed runs. Almost 110, and this thing is smooth as possible. There's no swerviness, there's no weird steering problems. I'm trying not to steer too hard any given direction, because I don't want to freak everything out. But we're doing great! Now, I do see that those white walls are very slowly inching their way out the back. I don't know how much I'm concerned about that. Because ultimately we're working towards a better set of truck tires. So, maybe I just let them go? 
because the truck rims that we've got are just fine. And those aren't going anywhere, so these these can these can go if they want. If they're gonna try to escape, I'm not gonna let them. I'm gonna I'm gonna let them be free. Yeah, this is this is fine. Except for when I stop accelerating, the engine wants to not be not accelerating. Hey, look, another truck tire. This engine's motto is always be accelerating. If you are not accelerating, it is either bouncing or it is killing the engine. <laughs> but it's fine. I'm, I'm okay with this. Is that an AK as well? Oh, we're doing great. We're doing great. Okay, so the AK, I don't have a need for it at the moment, so you can go right there. We have another another truck tire. We'll, we'll shine this thing up and get it moving. Hopefully there's a second truck tire in here somewhere. Got a half a liter of gas. Sure, why not? Cookie. Lovely. Anything back here? Oh, we got more, um... More revolver rounds. Great. Uh, an alarm clock. No. Don't, don't want, don't need. And then a color of paint. A color of paint that is sand colored. Alright, we're gonna sleep now because I can't see shit. place have anything else to offer me? Looks kind of like a no. Let's check the roof quick. No. Oh, there's a brush. I like brushes. Nope. There we go. Got it. I don't think this is a brush situation. No, this is a polish situation, okay. That's fine. I'll add you to my... Actually, let's fix this thing up. Are no longer needed because we have you. It is difficult to get in the back of this thing, though. A little, little bit tricky, but that's fine. All right, you guys can just, just, just stay there. If you want to leave, you can leave. Crouch on a slope to stop sliding. Let's test that out. Nope! If you mean that's what you wish would happen, then yes, I agree. 100%. It should definitely stop you. But it doesn't. Actually, let's take you. 
We'll put you over here. Ah, I don't typically deal with mountains, so I have no experience in that matter. And thankfully, I don't deal with mountains, because that sounds like a pain in the ass. Alright, let's carry on. As much as it's hazardous uh, to not have a back door in this thing, I kind of like not having a back door because it lets me keep an eye on my stuff and make sure nothing's going away. Ooh, hey, we found a new biome. We're in grass. I like grass. Grass is nice. downshift here. We'll see. We're going 80 and falling. Let's do a downshift. There we go. Picking up speed a little bit. Probably gonna go take those bars off. I'm not finding any valid use for them. I can't possibly imagine what they would be for. At least not that my lovely arms aren't already taken care of. What is that? Oh, that's just a tree, isn't it? Going 90 uphill. I like this, uh. I like this engine. Also, the hills shallowing out a little bit. Don't want to crank it above 100, because that'll probably kill me. I think I see a building up ahead. Hard to tell. Sometimes I mistake rocks for buildings. But I think that's a building up ahead. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Nope. 
If there is a building up ahead, I was either misled or something happened to it. Bunny. Very much dead bunny. Yeah, the LODs get really weird in this game. Especially like the terrain levels. You'll see a rock floating and all of a sudden the, the ground will just rise up to meet it. I mean, I don't want to complain about texturing in this game. This game is not exactly meant to be a, a flawless, pretty textured game. So if it's got crappy LOD textures, I'm not, I'm not going to fault it for that. Alright, what do we got? We have crappy, crappy tires. Lots of poop. Lots of poop. More poop. A really nice tire, um, but I don't need it. Oil. Another bar, because sure, why the hell not? Even though I said I was going to get rid of the bars, but whatever, it's fine. <laughs> we got cigarettes, sure. And gas. Lovely. Oh, I guess I wasn't paying that much attention to it. I was mostly paying attention to the, um... The odd terrain levels and stuff like that. Nothing... Nothing... There, there's a rock in the... Hold up. Why... Why does this have a sit option? Do rocks normally have a sit option? There's a door down there. Um, probably not worth doing. I'm afraid to sit on this rock, honestly, because it's right over the well. I'm afraid it's going to sit me, like, hanging over the well, and I'll just have to drop in. <laughs> so, as much as I'm curious about this sit option on the rock, um, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Save and sit. There, There's a plan. Save. Sit. Huh. Alright. It, it is a meditation rock. Huh. Also... The FPS while sitting on said rock is absolutely atrocious. Caps lock. <laughs> right, the hum button. Forgot about that. <laughs> I, I have several questions. I don't know if we're going to get the answers to any of those questions. Um... But it's it's a meditation rock. All right. Um, we're also gonna do the opposite of meditating on this rock. It's kind of a sort of a meditation. Alright. 
We've had our meditation. We've had our chillax smoke. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna continue on. Yep. Whoa, 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 camera, 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 chill. There we go. Okay. What is that? Oh, that's another boat. Okay. Couldn't tell what that was off in the distance. Over there. Definitely boat. Yeah, we're doing good. We've lost our grass, at least our tall grass. What did I lose? I think I lost something, but I don't know what. Hmm. I guess I didn't lose anything. No. Oh. Getting this thing started back up again is tough because of the gearing situation. Oh, hey, there's a... There's a, a grave thingy here. Things here, but it, but here it is. Yep, that's the thing. Oh, I need to eat. Let's uh, go back here and have a snack. Ah, a jack-o'-lantern would be a good light source, yeah. Okay, sleepy sleep. So the trick to get this thing started, because of the oomphiness of this engine, you have to have the parking brake off. You have to be in first gear, and you have to immediately start getting it, giving it gas, and then immediately jump up to second or third gear. Otherwise it just stalls. 
because it's trying to throw way too much power into an engine that's not doing anything. Uh, currently I have the clutch set to auto, so maybe it's just that the auto clutch is kind of garbage and doesn't know how to handle the power of this engine. Um, so that's a possibility. you decide to start freaking? Why are you freaking? Don't freak. Freaking's bad. There's a building out there. But that's kind of really far away. What do you say? Do we go to the building? It's kind of outside of my normal radius for not leaving the road. Also, I just killed it. I should still be able to see the road from here, so we're gonna go to the building. And I'm gonna stop at the at the building, turning myself around so that we are facing the road, so I can't forget. Oh, there's another car here. It's lovely. Also with the trail of grass stains that I'm leaving behind me. I shouldn't be able to miss the road. That'll be fine. Apparently you can just keep the cigarette butt in your mouth forever and it just keeps smoking ever so slightly. Uh, I think it was G? <laughs> B is poosh, right? I forgot about that. I forgot what the button was for getting rid of the thing in your mouth. Um, button. Button. X. Yes, there we go. Bye! Where's your gas tank? Why do all these cars have weird gas tank locations? Oh, this is the one that's in there. Okay. Nope, empty. Gas and oil. We have a, a lovely pinkish purple color. Almost the exact same shade as my shirt. Lovely. Um, we'll take it. Put you over here. I don't need all this paint, by the way. I'm just taking it. Because, because taking it. You're an interesting little hood. Trunk, hood thing, whatever. Oil. Oil is the same one that I just kicked around. Another AK, okay. Good. We'll actually compare the two because I think one of them was a better quality than the other. No, they might be actually the same quality. Hard to say. Scrutinizing the two models very closely, this one feels like it's ever so slightly better.
interesting. Um, also, I have no idea if the quality of the gun matters. I'm just kind of assuming the quality of the gun matters. Because it would be a thing that makes sense. But good to know that the, the jizz might work on the guns. It's possible the revolver works a little bit different because uh, it also can't be unloaded as easily. Like I don't, I don't know how to unload this thing. I know how to open it and reload it, but I don't know how to get the bullets out and unload them, or if that's even possible. Lovely bike, lovely. That. All right, inferior fridge. What do you have in you? Tiny thing of water. Bread. Cookie. Aha. We have two ladies. And... Oh, I was kind of hoping that explode with hit with the hit. But no, unfortunately. Random license plate up here. That's weird. All right. So that's just a random outhouse. I haven't seen anything useful at outhouses, like, ever, so I'm not going to bother. I don't know what the dealio is with the outhouses, but they're a thing. I see something odd off in the distance up there. Ah, it's one of the... One of the, uh, the buildings that has a bridge crossing the road thing. going too fast. Hang on. Hang on. This is fine. Take a chill. Have a moment. Rescue my tire that tried to escape.
No. What are those bars for? Modern art is what they're for. I see. I actually truly do wonder what they're actually for. I don't know, maybe... Maybe? We could, we could definitely try. Um, let's, uh, let's go back to put the modern art there. And then over here... I have this one that's already kind of sort of like that. Uh, I have a spare green. So let's take you. And let's put you right there. Now, let's find out if it stays. Because if that's the case, then those are much more useful than I thought they'd be. Uh, so let's see, I have to turn that away. That's where my problem is. Parking brake. Uh, no. Technically, it does not stay. However, I have created an interesting situation where it's going to stay anyway. Nope, it's gone. Alright, well, that's fine. That's why I use my spare green. So no, is the answer to that, sadly. I was kind of hoping that would be a yes. It was definitely worth a try, for sure. Alright, I think we're fading back into desert now. At least the underlying texture seems to be desert, but we still have grass, so... I don't know. Would that be scrublands, or would that be... I don't know. I don't know what type of biome that would be. I do like the light situation though. Like we've got a lot of lights going on. Makes it very easy to see everything around us. We could use more lights, honestly. Um, maybe two or three per side, facing outward. Maybe two, another one in the back. Give a little more broad coverage. But otherwise I like the light situation. Oh, we have a thing up here. Good, good. Oh, it's another truck. Actually, let's go ahead and sleep before we get out. So we can see. The lights are nice. But, <laughs> they, they still don't quite light up the area well enough to be able to see. So this is another truck. Um, it has no tires. Wonderful. No fuel. No engine. Do you have anything worth mentioning? Do you do anything, sir? It's got gauges. Nope, those are the same gauges I've already got. Never mind. Uh, this is a worthless truck. 
I'm also surprised I'm not having overheating issues. I think what's happening is I think they coded that that um, V8. I think they coded it to be like a regular gas engine, so as not to require a crazy a crazy powerful heater or a cooler. So it's working just fine on the regular cooler. I would say it probably should require a better cooler, but whatevs. Here, tiny little sliver of oil. We're gonna we're gonna use you. What am I hearing? I'm hearing something from that direction. I don't know what it is. Sounds kind of low and rumbly. Yeah, it's coming from like right there. I see nothing. Except for rabbit. But that's not the noise. Huh, weird. Okay, uh, we have a lady. Hello, lady. Uh, I believe, just double checking. I was told that every one of these gas stations, or every one of these bus stops, there should be a, uh, a siphon hose in this garbage can, but I'm not seeing it. So that's good to know. We have multiple magazines of the same variety. Uh, what's on her mind? Plus, free posters inside. Interview with the new rock star of 1978. Is the world ending? Scientists are afraid. I think the answer is, yeah, probably. Based on what I'm seeing here. Alright, there's nothing else. Let's sit and ponder our life for a moment. Closed it. Speaking of making sure I closed it, I'm pretty sure that's been open since the last stop, but that's fine. Push. 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 Look at it dance. I haven't actually listened to the radio. I should. I would. I. I've heard that the radio has some interesting lore tidbits in it. So I feel like I should listen to the radio at some point. So there's, there's the guy on the radio who apparently is a live person and not a recording. Um, there's supposedly our mother who left us a note, which by the way is uh, here. This is the note from mother. Please visit me, love ma. Is there any other information on here? There's something at the bottom. Ah, someone's YouTube channel. Uh, let's see. 
a whole bunch of not English. So it might say something useful, but it could also just be generic postage information. So we're gonna we're gonna put that back here. Alright, let's boogie. God, this thing is such a bitch to get moving. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's probably the auto clutch situation, honestly. If I were if I were to go with a gentle clutch and a gentle release of the clutch, I probably would be able to manage it just fine. Okay, so we have that double building off in this off in the distance there. And it's it's not on the road. So I think I'm gonna go to it. And I think that might end up being my last stop for the night. So we'll go there, we'll clean it out, we'll get back to the road so I don't lose it, and then we'll stop for the night. Hello, Gila. Hello, Gila. Hello. Plowing through the grass, ho hoping there aren't any rocks. I can see a couple of them, but I don't think I can see all of them. It's a trailer. It's a tanker trailer, which is not my favorite, but I'll take it. Should, that should do, I, I think. I don't think I've ever actually successfully attached a trailer, so I, I have no freaking clue. Now, the only problem with this one is it also does not have any wheels. So, here's hoping there's a wheel in here that we can use. So otherwise, I only got three total. Also, these. What are these railroads uh, lengths for? I know you can attach them to stuff, but why? What's the point? <laughs> Three is enough. <laughs> okay, so we got we got bed, we got cushion. We have bread and cookie. Okay. More more bed. All right. That's that's fine. Able to easily get up there. Could use this. There we go. Got 
kind of kind of there we go nope that didn't work at all there we go all that for a radio and some red paint oh and a cookie cookie's important <laughs> I try to I try to drop the paint down and uh, I missed. I missed. There we go. All right. Uh, what is that? Is that just a transformer? Okay. There's usually stuff on top of these power poles. I see something up there. Can't quite tell what it is though. It looks like it might just be a siphon hose. So we'll ignore that. We have a giraffe. I'm sorry. Yeah, serves you right, stupid rabbit. You uh, look after my giraffe, I'll be back for that. Or, I have another giraffe, I don't need your stupid giraffe. And... Hook! <sighs> Almost. Howdy, Sajad. How you doing? Ah, well, balls. All right, fine. What are you? You are a rusty uh, glove box lid. Weird. Another basket! Hooray! Another basket. Uh, and a little bit of spray. Okay. Anything else up here? Let's take my basket and go shopping. Uh, we've got a gray. Gray is alright. I like gray. Gray is a good color. Let's hold on to that. Anything else? No. Nothing else. Okay. Basket. Um, gi giraffe. Maybe we have two giraffes. Maybe we have two giraffes. Stay upright. Other giraffe. You're going with mom's letter. You know, that didn't really work at all. Giraffe. Better. Okay, so let's uh let's figure out how we're gonna do this situation. Because I'm missing a wheel, and I didn't get a fresh one. Oh my god, there's 155 liters of diesel in here. Alright. Well, we'll keep it in there until I need to fill it with something else. Uh, so you... Get attached there. Get it up, up, up. There we go. Okay. Basket. Uh, you can go... I don't know... Right there, I guess. You can go right there for now. Okay. Wheel. Wheel. Bigger wheel. Wheel without tire. Because it'll at least provide some sort of rolling, I think. Maybe. I'm guessing. 
Um, so let's do the little ones in back. And the reasoning for that is we already have the rays up from here. So that'll match with the rays up from here, hopefully. Totally winging it. There. Oh, is green go? Let's, let's find out. First off, gotta have a little bit of a nap. Got it. That's good to know. Okay, so I did tell myself that I was going to park in such a way that I could find the road again. However, I got distracted by the trailer. So I didn't do that. Um, right. Also, did I? Yes. Yes, I did check up there. I did not, however, check all the way up there, so let's do that before I forget. Um, part of the reason I don't carry binoculars, um, and this was a promise I made to myself when I came up with the little rules for this thing, is I didn't want to go too far from the road, therefore I have no need to scout out very far ahead. Um, of course, obviously, the catch to that being now that I have gone a little ways away from the road, I am now breaking that rule and also now having a hard time finding my, my way back to the road. But I didn't want that temptation. Wow. I can't actually see the road from here. Fascinating. And it looks like all of my grass destruction as I drove in is gone. So I can't easily use my previous path to figure out where I was. Cool. Cool. Love it. I have a suspicion I know which way to go. Alright, what do we got up here? We have... A spray bottle. Wonderful. Eh, eh. Oh, so close. We have a spray bottle. There's something up here. It's it's a sun visor. Okay. And that's a dangly doodad. There's a nothing, there's a nothing, and there's usually something up here as well. Ah, it's the circle hatch, which I don't think I need, actually, because mine's already covered. Oh, also, can I see from here? Yes, that is indeed a siphon hose, not a snake. So I don't need to go up there. All right, we're good. I just need to get down without dying. Actually, I have no idea if you can actually die from fall damage in this game. I have fallen from quite the height before, and it wasn't a problem. But I'm also not willing to test it. Alright, Spray, where'd you go? There you are. Uh, do I need to keep that red? I don't think I need to keep this red. 
I think this red is the exact same shade as that red. Therefore, I don't need it. Can we spray anything on here? Can you be, uh, spritzed? No? 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 Okay, that's fair. And we. Okay, so I came in from that away. I heard that. This away. Well, that's working fairly well. And yes, I'm riding on the rim, but don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Clanking. I'm not liking the clanking. There's the road. Oh, the clanking's done. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I would say the tanker was probably not my ideal choice for a uh, trailer. But I can't really think of which one I would prefer. Like, would I want another one of these box house type things? Would I want a flatbed? Or, uh, I think, are those the three options? Or are there more? Tanker, flatbed, or weird box truck thing? I could always use a tanker full of gas. Oh, ah, why did you just... Alright. Well, you, you have a little bit of a dance, that's fine. Um. Hmm. I bounced. Alright, you know what? That's a perfect time. Perfect time to call it. I'm gonna pick up my um, hubcap that I just lost. Mini flatbed does not hold things at all. Good to know. Sad, but good to know. What? What just happened? What just happened? What's happening? Why are these things happening? Oh, I held F. I see. So, I may or may not have lost that hubcap. It may be just gone. And that one might be gone because I just had an FPS spaz, which caused it to fly that way. Hmm. Oh, wait. Found it. Ah, bright light. There. 
there. So riding on the rim seems to be perfectly acceptable for a short-term tire situation. Um, we're going to put the brakes on here as well and hope that I remember that. But yeah, this was wonderful. We got to try out a couple new cars and we ended up with a pretty nifty truck with some unique characteristics. He's got a bit of a personality. And I'm okay with it. So that'll be it for tonight. Had, had a, a nice long drive. I did not actually end up getting tired of this enough to go to, to uh, the other game. So maybe we'll do another night of the other game at some point. But uh, for right now, that'll be it. The one. Thanks for hanging out. We had we had some we had some fun making some interesting choices on this vehicle. It's it's delightful. I, I enjoy it. Um, I didn't think I would actually be back to this game, but something's something's got me wanting to do it. So whenever I feel the urge, we might go some do some driving. So anyone else who is still lurking out there, Sajad, I know you just stopped in. So sorry to end it so soon once you got here. To anyone else who is lurking, thank y'all for coming. Thank you for any subs and follows that I might have missed, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.